And I hope you're having a happy Sunday and a peaceful weekend and a blessed and prosperous life. Because I do believe that is what God wants for each and every one of us. I've believed that my entire life. And I've, I've been through a lot of ups and downs and, you know, valleys and peaks. And then it's just like my life was a whirlwind of chaos for so long. And I don't know. I guess with enough time, I was able to see that God had loved me all along. And... I just needed to come to terms with myself, my own God worth, uh, my eternal soul. And when you realize these things, it's like, that's the veil that's lifted. And you see clearly for the first time. You see your whole life. You see your worth. You see the purpose and the value and the meaning of who you are, your existence, your identity. And it's all connected to God. And what you were created for, your reason, your purpose for existing as the person you are in a human body on earth. It's all for your reason. And it was designed with a master plan for our benefit and for our well-being. And so realizing this is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It took me 47 years. And it was always doubt, lack of faith, walking in the darkness and the shadows and questioning things that had no answers and I, I I I truly came to the lowest point in my life before I was able to realize my God worth. So it's kind of ironic, yet you know, there's a reward for the irony. <laughs> so no matter what we have to face, God has this brilliant, miraculous way of bringing us through it. If he's going to bring us to it, he brings us through it, right? And he gives us the strength he gives us his strength. He lends us his strength when we are our weakest and he carries us when we are at our lowest. So these are the things I learned during that time in the valley and the shadow of death, you know, when I would fear no evil. But I did fear evil. That was the thing. I let that fear control my life. And so when I decided to stand up to that and say, no more, I'm not going to fear anymore. I'm not going to fear fear. I'm not going to fear my life. I'm not going to fear myself living in fear of the fear of my life. You know, I'm going to stand up against the fear. I'm going to face it. And I'm going to say, no way. Today is the day the Lord has made. And this is the day I'm going to rejoice in it. I'm going to rejoice in my God part and my identity as a child of God. So when we can realize that, it's like the best day of our lives, the first day of our lives, like our first birthday, because every day forward, it's going to be a new day. It's going to be a day of you in your God work. And that's like no other day you've ever lived. So that's what I want to share with everyone is how to discover your God worth, your God given worth that was assigned to you when you were conceived in the conception of God's creation.